okay and then i will name it as well three and i will do some modifications okay i will pause for a while okay so now we are in the third well okay i use the file from well two okay or i can also use the file from well one and do some modifications and call it well three okay let's do some modifications okay let me check this section first okay everything is good no problem here okay click done and also the pvt okay let's check the ipr let's say the reservoir thickness here is 70 feet with drainage area of 500 okay the same the same perforation interval 70 feet all the thickness of the reservoir is perforated so 70 feet time since production start at one reservoir porosity 0.15 connect water saturation 0.25 okay the non dirty flow factor will be calculated check the mechanical geometrical skin shot density 8 perforation diameter 2.5 now the perforation length is 6 inches damage zone thickness of oh, perforation length yeah 6 inches damage zone thickness 8 inches with damage zone permeability 12 millidarsis cross zone thickness 0.5 Cross zone permeability here is 12. Shot facing 120. The same will be radius, vertical permeability 2.5. Okay. And again, we can keep it like it, like this one. Calculate. Okay, now we get higher AOF higher absolute open flow compared to the previous one. The second well, the well two, has absolute open flow around 90, if I'm not mistaken. But now the third well has AOF of 139 million standard cubic feet per day. Plot results, click done, okay. Finish, done, done. Let's check the trajectory, check the downhole equipment, check the geothermal gradient, edit. Okay, I will maintain the trajectory, the same. Done. Check the downhole equipment, exactly the same. Yeah, in reality, there yeah, they should be different between one well and another well. But yeah, for the sake of example, okay, we will copy or we will have the same, exactly the same well configuration. So no problem there. Okay. Done. Check the summary if you want. Draw down hole. Okay. Done 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 all right for the sake of completeness we can do nodal analysis system ipr vlp with for example the wellhead pressure 700 top node pressure let's assume water gas ratio of one and we can click calculate show calculating data be careful. 
the second well has operating gas rate of 70 million standard cubic feet per day with wellhead pressure 400, right? 430 PSIG. Now, what will happen if we have higher top node pressure of 700? Calculate, show calculating data. Okay, we can get higher operating rate of 92. Do you know why? Because now we have, or we assume smaller water gas ratio of one. Previously, we have six, which make the flow heavier. Now the water gas ratio is smaller. That's why we will have operating gas rate higher, 92. What will happen if we have the same water gas ratio as the previous case of six? Calculate. Show calculating data. Yeah, the, the water gas rate, I mean the operating gas rate is actually smaller only, but still higher than the second well. Okay, here we have 91. Why? Yeah, because basically the IPR, the absolute open flow, the reservoir influx, for the second or for the third well is better better all right compared to the second case okay so i think we can go back to what the case ratio of one calculate show calculating data okay done and save it as well tree Yes. All right. Lastly, we can file, save as, save as well for, okay? Okay, so now this file is well for. 